To learn dynamics in the best possible way, we have to specify two things at the beginning of each problem definition. The positive direction of motion and the origin of motion. The positive change in position delta S is the displacement and the derivative of displacement with respect to time is the velocity. And this velocity is equal to zero when the slope ds over dt is equal to zero. This happens when the moving particle changes its direction of motion or makes a U-turn. In a similar way, the derivative velocity with respect to time is the acceleration, and it also becomes zero when dv over dt is equal to zero. And this happens also when the particle is at rest or moving with a constant speed. If a particle moves straight forward from S1 to S2 in the positive direction, the displacement is delta S. However, instead of going forward, if the particle covers all this red line before reaching S2, the displacement is still delta S, but the distance traveled now is S of t. And here we end up with two definitions. The average velocity, defined as the displacement covered in a certain time delta t, which is a vector quantity. And the average speed, defined as the total distance covered in the same delta t, which is a scalar quantity. Let's consider a simple example. A particle starts moving from position SA, which is one meter from the origin, and then goes in the negative direction to point SB equals minus two. And then it turns around and goes all the way to point SC, which is positive three meters from the zero origin. Let's say it takes five seconds from the time we start our stopwatch to go from SA to SC. In this case, the displacement is only two meters, but the distance travel is the length of the dashed line, which is three meters plus five meters. Therefore, the average speed, which is the total distance over time, is eight over five meters per second. And it has no direction because it is a scalar quantity, as we said. But the average velocity is 2 over 5 meters per second to the right because delta S is defined positive to the right. Note that the turn around means a complete change in direction of motion. And when this change happens, the velocity must be equal to zero at that point. Therefore, if you think about this particle as a car moving backward, it actually stops before it moves forward again to some other point, and stops again before going backward, and end its motion at S1. Know the difference between the displacement and the total distance traveled in this case. To further understand how to find the distance traveled, let's take an example. What is the distance traveled in four seconds for a particle that moves according to the following S of t? To know exactly what happened in those four seconds, we need to find out if the particle has stopped somewhere between t equals to zero and t equals four. To do that, take the derivative of s with respect to time and find the velocity function, then make it equal to zero. You can easily solve this quadratic equation to find that at t equals one and t equals three, the velocity is actually equal to zero. And now we have four times of interest. The initial time when the stopwatch starts, t equals zero. The first turn around point, t equals one. The second turn around point, t equals three. And the final time requested by the question, which is t equals four. Note that the final time is after t equals one and t equals three. And that's why we included both times in our solution. Now, at t equals zero, if you substitute back in S of t, you will get S equals zero. And this is our initial condition. At t equals one, we calculate S again and find it to be four over three. This means that the particle moved from S equals zero to S equals four over three. At t equals three, you will find out that S of t becomes zero. This means that the particle moved back from its first turning point at t equals one to another turning point 
at t equals 3. Finally, when t equals 4, s is found to be 4 over 3. And this is just a coincidence. Note that we don't have any other turning points where v is equal to 0. And this means that the particle will keep moving in the positive right direction. Up to 4 seconds, which is the distance traveled, it is basically the length of those three segments, which is 4 meters. What is delta S? I'll leave that for you. See you next. Thank you.